Welcome back. Today in Your Digital Life, a clock radio built for the plugged in generation. CNBC contributor and New York Times tech columnist David Pogue is here to explain. So you brought it with you, David. Yes, indeed. And you know, everybody loves widgets on Windows Vista and Mac OS X, little single purpose programs with stocks and weather and sports. But you have to be at your computer to see them. Until now, there's a new bean bag in town, and this is what it looks like. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of What Is That Thing? The thrilling game show where you, the viewers at home, try to guess the high-tech gadget I'm describing by looking at its component parts. Ready? Fingers on buzzers. Here we go. Round one, good for ten points. Let's begin. Clock plus radio equals... Anybody? Anybody? Yes, that's right. We were looking for clock radio. Very good. Yes, we start easy. All right, ready for round two, good for 20 points. Let's begin. Phone plus keyboard equals, anyone? Yes, excellent, that's right. Blackberry is the correct answer. Okay then, are we ready for round three for 100 points? This is the big one, here we go. Alarm clock plus radio plus Wi-Fi internet plus digital picture frame plus game player plus email terminal, plus video player, equals... Nobody? No takers? Okay. Well, the answer we were looking for there is the chumby. Oh. That's right, the chumby. And what you may ask, is it chumby? Is that like a Furby? Is that like a Gumby? No, it's actually a $180 soft, squishy appliance with a touch screen. Plug it in, you introduce it to your wireless network, you slap the top to open the control panel, you set an alarm if you want. You can even decide what you want to wake you up. It can be a sound effect, it can be a podcast, a look at the front page it can even be an internet radio station, or your own music files. But the best part of the Chumbi is the widgets. These are little single purpose screens that cycle through all day long like a glorified slideshow. Weather widget. Here we go, top ten A David Letterman widget. A YouTube widget. A widget that shows your incoming email. A widget that shows your photos. Clock widgets. Stock widgets. News. Sports. Traffic. Music. Humor. Word of the day. Notes to self. Weird widgets. Chuck Norris widgets. There's even a tilt sensor in there so you can actually play games. Hold on, I'll, uh, I'll be right with you. There's even a widget to clean the screen from the inside. There are about 700 of these free widgets available at chumby.com and they're so easy to create, amateur programmers are writing new ones all the time. You pick them out, you click them, and they show up on your chumby a few minutes later. Oh, there are drawbacks. It's got no battery, so it has to be plugged in all the time. There's no way to change the volume without burrowing all the way into the menus. And it's a little flaky with the wireless. It's tricky to get on the network, and it sometimes just drops the connection. Even so, it's $180 of good, wacky, time-killing fun for your desk, your bedside table, or your kitchen table. And so, sports fans, the ultimate answer to today's what is that thing? The heck if I know. What are you doing? <laughs> it's squeezably soft. Ah, okay. Well, thank you. You want to try? Yeah. Thanks for the demonstration, David. <laughs> All right. I appreciate it. You can get more information on the David Pogue extras on the Chumbie. Just log on to CNBC.com.